ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೇ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಛಾ ಕಲ್ಪತರ್ವಶ್ಯಕೆ ವಾಸಿಂದುಭ್ಯಭಚ ಪಸಿಸಾನ ಪಾವುನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂ ಹೈತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂ ಮಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಲಿ ಬಿಂದಾವಿತು ಶ್ರೀ ಬಿಪ್ರಿಯಾವಿ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಬಹುನೀತಾನಂದ ಶಿವಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವಿತು ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದಿ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನ ಶರಣ್ಯಂತಾತ್ಮಿಹಂ ಪುನದು ಬಾಲ್ಯಭವಾತ್ಮಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರಣಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋದೋಷಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾಕೃಪಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಹುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬದಾಸು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಹಿತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮಿ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ಬರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಶ ಜುಷು ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ವ ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಸಂವಿ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Savai Manaha Krishna Padaravinda Yura Vachang, Sivai Kunta Gunan Varnani, Karotat Manjira Marjana Dishu Sutim Chakaruchyuta Sadhukatho Jai Mukunda Lingalaya Darshani Dishu Tadibhitva Gattva Sparsi Anga Sangamam Granan Chatat Pada Saroja Sauravi Simatula Sharasanam Tadarpite Pada Uhari Heketra Padanu Sarpani Siro Rishikesha Padavi Bandani Kamancha dasenatu kamu kamaya, Jathottama sloka jana srayarati, Shabai manaha kishna padara binda yur, Bachang sivai kunta gunanu varnani, Karu harir mandira marjuna di shu, Shutinja karuchu to sadaka tozai, Mukunda lingale darsani di shu, Tadvito gatta sparsi ongo sangama. Granan chatat padu saroja sogravi, Timatula sarasanam tadarpite, Padu hari heketra padanu sarpane, Siro risikesha padavi bandane, Kaman chatase no to kama kamaya, Yathotama soka jana sayarati. Gorya Gustibati. Chakduru told that each and every time, all the time apart from Hari Kirtan, the actual the actual duty of Jivas, there is no other duty for the Jivas. All the time to do Hari Sankirtan, that is the actual duty of Jivas and no other duty is there for the Jivas. The Jeev, actual Swarup of Jiva, that Krishna Nam Swarup and, uh, and his own Swarup, that is, in order to understand that, after understanding that, to do Hari Sankirtan, we should do that. That actually is the instruction of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has just shown this Nam Sankirtan pathway to us. Bhagavan Shri Krishna Swarup. Swarup Nam, his name Swarup and his own Swarup are actually everything is Krishna just by understanding that and just by realizing that after that only Krishna Sankirtan we should do that Mahaprabhu has just given us the instruction to us that Nam Sankirtan you should do like that up till that point if a slight you are having that kind of uh, um, uh, having attraction towards your material body when slightly some uh, you have that kind of attraction towards your material body up till that point actual sankirtan is not at all possible it is not at all possible to do actual sankirtan sadhu guru vaishnav by the grip of sadhu guru vaishnav that Sambandhagyan is getting uh, inside his heart. It is just getting manifested inside his heart automatically by the Kripa of pure Guru Vaishnav. That Sambandhagyan will just get manifested inside his heart automatically. Whatever actually is there of Sambandhagyan, whatever uh, up till how much, how much time, uh, point he will just get to Sambandhagyan, definitely then uh, everything on his material body mind his money position everything will uh, his uh, attraction will go on decreasing and at the last time he will get the shri nam prabhu kripa definitely it will get inside his heart it will get manifest inside his heart definitely the kripa of nam prabhu before that it is not at all possible to get the kripa of nam prabhu to go in braj when it is possible for me to go there in Braj? When when will be it be possible with that I will be going in Braj? Someone actually is asking question to Prabhupada that Prabhupada, when my pathway to going to Braj will get open, Prabhupada actually speaking that you see when 
when you will be taking shelter onto lotus feet of guru pad padma when guru pad padma when guru pad padma you will be thinking uh, your guru pad padma is not different from gadadhar pandit when you will be thinking gadadhar pandit is not different from your guru pad padma then this kind of knowledge you will get inside your mind it will get manifested inside your heart when all the kind of differences will get over when gaur and brajwan their kind of differentiation is there when it will just get over after that with that pathway of braj will get open for you and when and when this kind of vichar is getting in if this kind of vichar is not getting inside our heart and when this kind of vichar is not getting inside our heart it is not at all coming then that is a big problem in the way of our bhajan with a big problem those who are actually topmost intelligent persons that they are actually taking the anugatya of the mahajans that what the mahajans have shown the pathway to us they are actually going on that pathway those who are very intelligent people they are actually not following their own vichar they are actually just uh, they are not taking their vichar in front of us those who are intelligent persons they are actually not making their own vichar they don't have that confidence on their own vichar those intelligent persons they are actually just uh, having that uh, following the pathway of the mahajans that they are doing anusaran and anugaman of that they are not doing anukaran they are not imitating them and uh, if we will be just uh, we will be just doing our own vichar like this if we'll see that that this kind of vichar means that you are actually measuring uh, measuring your vichar you have that material darshan of still now that you have that enjoying mood still inside your heart you just want to measure that in that what will happen that you will just get material things only inside your heart apart from material things nothing will get inside your heart to go to braj it is a very far distant thing nothing will happen in your life only this material things will just get inside uh, imbibed inside your heart like this also bhagavad dharma what it is this also you cannot realize that what actually bhagavad dharma is you cannot understand that thing also you cannot realize that also sansar this material world this material bondage it will remain inside your heart all the time to go to braj there is no other pathway open apart from this this is the actual condition of the bonded jiva to just go to the uh, braj dham do no pathway will open uh, when you will and uh, today actually i was discussing this point that yashit darshan yashit sang bhakti mr thakur always used to speak that each and every time we are getting this yashit sang each and every fraction of second we are getting that when we are just seeing the flowers in the gardens we are having that kind of enjoying mood just by smelling the fragrance of that flower it is very beautiful and we just want to enjoy that by our nose then everything is done we are doing yashit sang at that and when we are going to the ground that we are going higher and higher so nice flowers and grass is there and it is giving me some enjoyment then definitely it will be yashit sang for us everything is yashit sang prasad when we are actually i need just need very new need good prasadam like parmano that is actually yashit sang in each and every object if you are having that enjoying mood that bhakti mr thakur speaking that each and every fraction of second we are getting that yashit darshan all the time fraction of second each and every object we are getting that yashit sang bhakti mr thakur speaking in pras in bhag prasadam there is bhagavat kripa this kind of uh, uh, mind we don't have this kind of darshan we don't have and we are enjoying mood towards material darshan is just increasing are on material objects and material things i just want to become the prabhu i just want to become king this kind of actually is the topmost bondage for us this is the actually topmost material bondage for us like this to go to bhagwan it is next to impossible it is next to impossible it is not at all possible to go to bhagwan like this in this condition dharma bhagavad dharma there is actually there is no basic knowledge uh, abcd knowledge we don't have about bhagavad dharma we don't have that abcd knowledge also 
that basic knowledge we don't have about that that he is actually just uh, ja, to understand upadesh amrit he don't want to understand what he will understand of upadesh nothing he can understand what he we can't understand the things about upadesh amrit dharma actually cannot be actually done by uh, humans it is actually bhagavat shrishta that bhagavat dharma actually is eternally present it is not at all man made at all this is actually nitya permanent dharma this is sanatan dharma धर्म साक्षात इज एक्चुअली जस्ट गिवन बाय भगवान ओनली दैट भागवत धर्म इज एक्चुअली जस्ट अलाइंड बाय भगवान ओनली टू वर्ड अस ब्रिगु एटसेट्रा all actually they are actually having satya gun as the predominant factor in them all these on munis they don't know anything all those demigods they also don't know about this siddha gun those or siddha they also don't know asur demons they what to speak of them they can't even they cannot know about this bhagavad gita even all those vidyadhar charan etc they don't know anything about bhagavad dharma because that by bhagwan only it is possible bhagwat dharma that is param dharma atma dharma that is param dharma it is it is not at all man made it is just given by bhagwan that is eternal dharma to us this is actually just from the nitya permanent time eternal time this is just going on this sanatan dharma and uh, this kind of transformation of this dharma and it is not at all getting transformed it is not at all possible for anyone to transform this dharma it is not at all transformable it is non transformable it is non changeable it cannot be changed and akhandaniya means it is not at all destroyed that adoksh adoksh shri hari adokshat bhagwan shri hari that bhakti in him to have get that bhakti in him that absolute truth shri hari that parat par akhileshwar sachidanand vigra इन भगवान व डैट काइंड ऑफ भक्ति दैट इज कॉल्ड भजन हरि भजन दैट इज दैट इज द एक्चुअल नेचुरल फंक्शन ऑफ द सोल दैट इज एटरनल धर्म ऑफ द सोल दिस भक्ति अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर इज लॉट ऑफ मन धर्म देह धर्म एंड समाज धर्म डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कैटेगराइज कैटेगरीज ऑफ धर्म आर देयर दे आर एक्चुअली वी कैन सी दैट काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ धर्म इन दिस मटीरियल ऑफ अ वर्ल्ड it means that uh, those who are actually just like a man made dharma and it is not just uh, a kind of a shadow of sanatan dharma which is shown in front of us time by time we can just show this uh, can we can have that uh, uh, kind of dharma in front of us so and definitely it will go by time by time also but it will get destroyed it is just called anitya dharma it is not at all nitya it is not at all permanent it is just opposite to sanatan dharma दैट भागवत धर्म सनातन धर्म इज परम धर्म एंड आत्म धर्म दैट विद आत्म धर्म आवर बॉडी धर्म वी कैन नॉट कंपेयर इट विद दैट मन धर्म मन धर्म इज डिफरेंट देह धर्म इज डिफरेंट संसार धर्म इज डिफरेंट ऑल दिस आत्म धर्म इज एब्सोल्युटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम देम सो दैट्स वाई इन गीता भगवान हैज जस्ट टोल्ड दैट यू सी sarva dharma no means the what uh, other kind of dharma which are all actually man made shadow of dharma actually or made by mentally concocted ideas we are these are you just need to leave all those mentally concocted dharma and just come to me whatever dharma you are actually just taking on in this material world you have just followed up till now all actually dharma you just need to throw that uh, unfollow those Uh, so called dharma and you just come on to my lotus feet take sharanagati take shelter on to my lotus feet and that bhagavad dharma is atma is the actual natural function of atma so that why in bonded condition it is very impossible to understand this point nitya dharma that nitya dharma it is all the time there 
and from infinity time it is there. So this Atma Dharma, this Atma Dharma is there. That Atma Dharma is that uh, uh, that is Bhagavad Dharma, that is Nitya Dharma. It is there all the time in order to just manifest uh, inside our heart. Sadhan is very much important. It means that whatever that prema for Bhagwan, that attachment for Krishna prem, that should be there all the time inside the heart. Lot of uh, efforts you need to make for sadhan bhajan. You lot of sadhan you just need to do. The kind of beast behavior, those who are having that beast behavior, those humans, they are so-called humans. They how they can do that? This kind of dharma is not at all possible to follow for them. It is not at all possible. The shlok which I have already started with, the shlok which I started with, it is from Shrimad Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran. You already must have known this shlok that Ambrish Maharaj Ji actually, Ambrish Maharaj Ji, that in the prasang of Ambrish Maharaj it is there, that the prasang of Ambrish Maharaj we can see that that shloka. From that uh, prasang, this shloka is just uh, got from the ninth canto. This shloka actually what is written here. Shri Ambrish Maharaji is actually just uh, uh, done number with the bhakti nine folds of bhakti at a time. He is doing nine folds of bhakti at a time all together. And Mahaprabhu speaking that Mahaprabhu speaking that if he is doing one kind of uh, limb of bhakti or other many kind of limb of bhakti, this is according to his ruchi. That with full nishta and with the with nishta that prem tarang is just getting inside her heart. Before that, it is not possible to get that. Amrish Maharaj has just uh, uh, given his uh, heart, mind, material mind onto lotus, uh, his mind and heart onto lotus feet of the Bhagwan. First, you just need to surrender your heart. Uh, that all other sense organs, that five elements, five kinds of. Uh, uh, subtle and gross sense organs first of all they have just taken the heart our mind it is there written about mind first of all is your chit your mind if your mind your chit is actually not in your control then nothing will happen at all because if your chit your heart is not at all controlled then that's why it is important to just control your heart whatever sense organs we have it, all the sense organs, the topmost, uh, each and every sense organ, which which each and every sense organ that if it is not at all supported by our mind, if our mind mind not going to cooperate with the other sense organs, then there is no use of that. All sense organs will become unstable and uncontrollable. So that by our respective sense organs, all kind of work they are doing inside our body, it is actually supported by our chit, our mind. If our mind is not at all controlled, then nothing can happen. So that's why it is written here about Amrish Maharaj. Here it is written. Bhak Shakti, you are speaking, speaking tendency, speaking capacity. Amrish Maharaj has just speaking about the Dham, Nam, Parikar, Vashisht. Everything he is speaking by his... Uh, speaking tendency he is all the time just uh, doing a uh, shravan of uh, hari katha and hari kirtan and has given his heart onto the lotus feet of uh, bhagwan and he is actually his vocal cords are just doing all the uh, characteristic symptoms of vaikunt he is just uh, reciting that from his vocal cords it means that vaikunt means here vaikunt uh, this kind of word actually speaking we are actually remembering the hum but by this here vaikunt actually is just uh, uh, indicating bhagwan because vaikunt and bhagwan is not different from uh, each other that is called uh, that whatever qualities the other name of bhagwan is vaikunt so that's why it is written here vaikunt in just uh, describing the characteristics and qualities of vaikunt my actually vocal cords are busy 
and my hands are just uh, are just cleaning the are just cleaning the temple of aprakrit temple of bhagwan and my hands are just busy in just cleaning the temple of that aprakrit mandir of bhagwan and my ears are all the time just hearing the very sweet hari katha and kirtan from the lotus mouth of pure guru vishnu that kind of sweet hari katha i am just hearing with my ears and my eyes are actually just uh, in just getting uh, to have the darshan of the vigraha of that mukund it's it's busy in that that darshan shakti bhagwan by the kripa of mukund vigraha i will be just uh, uh, making it busy in that and whatever the devotees of bhagwan and those who are the devotee pure devotees of bhagwan by just uh, touching their lotus feet by ju- doing their uh, lotus feet seva all the time that's why it is re- written there that the to just touch the lotus feet to take the lotus feet of the pure devotees that that to just uh, uh, take the lotus particle of the lotus feet of pure devotees and to just take kripa from them this is actually this actually of the devotees whatever the body and their uh, and uh, their uh, and the, our nose actually which is actually smelling having the smelling power am um, my smelling power i am just getting engaged at the lotus feet of bhagwan whatever i am p- putting tulsi and makarand flower onto the lotus feet of bhagwan that i have just engaged my smelling power in just smelling that aprakrit smell of the tulsi and chandan that whatever the topmost smell uh, transcendental smell coming from the lotus uh, feet of bhagwan that i have just engaged my uh, nose in dust uh, in that and my nose is just all the time smelling the lotus transcendental feet of bhagwan what is tulsi and chandan is offered to that like we have just seen the chatusan about chatusan we dwan prasang is coming in bhagavatam that chatusan that uh, from uh, uh, their nose in that uh, the smell of the transcendental kesar chandan whatever is there onto lotus feet of bhagwan and tulsi it is just that transcendental smell is coming inside their nose and just by getting that transcendental smell in their nose that inside their heart after smelling getting the smell of the transcendental tulsi and chandan smell inside their nose that whatever is coming inside their nose by just smelling that transcendental uh, smell that kind of very sweet transcendental smell is coming from the tulsi and chandan of the lotus feet of bhagwan if it is just coming inside our nose then definitely it is it will create the topmost happiness and blissfulness for them that's why it is written in bhagavad gita mahapurana also that chatusan chatusan ka ye chatusan this is the actually actual realization of the chatusans the chatusans this is the actual realization of them their chatusan when they just went to vaikunt just by taking the lotus feet of bhagwan and just by uh, getting the flowers and tulsi etc kesar chandan etc just that kind of transcendental smell coming in the nose of chatusan when it is just getting inside from the nose inside his heart then they are just getting a, a paramanand inside their heart after just smelling the transcendental smell that his heart is just become transcendental and everything uh, as just uh, uh, they have just got into the drunkard condition just by smell getting the transcendental smell of the lotus feet of bhagwan that whatever lot at the lotus feet of bhagwan that tulsi dal is there they actually just want to taste that in and by just putting it as into the mouth and and my feet i am actually just getting engaged in the parikrama of, of the dham of bhagwan i will just be engaging that in that in the parikrama of the bhagwan's dham i will be just engaging that and my head and my head i will be just engaged in the service of the rishikesh 
everything i will be just uh, giving at the lotus feet of uh, rishikesh and if some calm is there definitely i will be just diverting it it is just not for my own uh, sense gratification it will be just by fulfilling then for the satisfaction of bhagwan i will be just uh, putting it in the dasya of bhagwan i'll be just all i will not be putting it for my sense gratification i'll be just putting it at the lotus feet of bhagwan so it is already written काम दैट काम आई विल बी जस्ट डाइवर्टिंग इट एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान इन कृष्ण सेवा आई विल बी जस्ट यूजिंग दैट आई विल नॉट बी यूजिंग एनी थिंग फॉर माई सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन आई विल नॉट बी यूजिंग दैट फॉर माई सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन इट इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न देयर that that amrish maharaj has just taken his uh, chit on to the lotus feet of bhagwan and his vocal cords he has just uh, be speaking about the characteristic and qualities of the vaikunth dham and bhagwan and he uh, is actually just using his hands in cleaning temple of a prakrit temple of bhagwan and his ears he has just engaged in just shraman kirtan of hari kathan kirtan and that is shri krishna shri murti is vigra darshan he has just engaged his eyes in that just by taking the aprakrit vigra darshan of bhagwan and those who are those who are uh, premi bhakt or premi devotees of bhagwan he is just taking the dust particle of the lotus feet of those pure devotees by his hands and uh, that krishna das he just want to just touch the lotus feet of them by his hands i will just be engaging them my hands in that and uh, i whatever is actually there tulsi kesar chandan etc whatever flowers are there at the lotus feet of bhagwan i will be just, just smelling at smelling with my nose my nose i will engage in that smelling the transcendental smell of the tulsi and whatever is tulsi is there at the lotus feet of bhagwan i will be just uh, tasting it in my mouth i will just uh, relishing that transcendental taste with my mouth ar krishna khetro atadham and uh, and the dham parikrama i will be just uh, b- uh, engage my feet in that so this kind of behavior i will be do i will be engaging in every each and every sense organ in bhagwan's lot uh, seva and at the lotus feet of bhagwan i will be just my head will just get down to just to dandvat on the lotus feet of bhagwan and and whatever calm is there inside my heart i will just get diverted on to the lotus feet of bhagwan it I, there is no actually greediness in that when the whosoever has come uh, that material lust is there that desire is there material desire inside his heart they are actually that in dasya seva i will be just engaging in that my calm my material desire whatever desire is there oh bhagwan in dasya seva bhagwan and in that krishna will uh, definitely what whosoever are there uh, who are actually parik amrish maharaj actually speaking that they are actually if actually someone is doing uh, if someone actually is doing seva like amrish maharaj then definitely he will be the by this navvida bhakti following navvida bhakti that exact application of navvida bhakti uh, is amrish maharaj whatever he has done for bhagwan so in this we can see that uh, at the lotus feet of bhagwan we can see that what amrish maharaj has done and prabhupad this upadesh amrit is we are actually just discussing the instructions of prabhupad uh, regarding upadesh amrit we will be discussing it in forward vamsi bhagavata dasita garshan venu sanair gopi gopinatho sasthu yahan tak chacha here up till this point we have already uh, discussed ras leela ka ras leela that is uh, near gopeshwar mahadev that rasila kshetra is there gopeshwar mahadev ji just in front of that there is rashetra 
that Rasastali is there in Vindavan and that Panchayati Raslila it is that Radharani actually is just getting uh, angry with Krishna and Radharani thinking that today actually definitely that Sham Sundar he is actually becoming equal for every Gopika my Sham Sundar is becoming equal to everyone so Prabhupada speaking that Panchayati Ras Leela that Vrindavan that is Panchayati Ras what we are seeing Krishna doing with every Gopika Pancha, uh, Prabhupada speaking that place of Panchayati Ras that Vrindavan that Govardhan is more topmost than that that where that Govardhan that topmost Ratikrida is actually going on eternally it is uh, going on that this Panchayati Ras here all go Satkarod Gopis are they have just this Panchayati Ras this place Vrindavan that apart from that more topmost place is that Govardhan where actually Govardhan rivers Govardhan streams Govardhan fruits flowers and that uh, topmost Govardhan is the topmost place where actually Shri Shri Radha Govind Yugal Sarkar actually just uh, getting uh, doing their Rati Krida eternally that kind of Govardhan place is more topmost than that Rasthali of Vrindavan that uh, Govardhan caves caves of Govardhan that in this Kiriraj Maharaj only inside the caves of Giriraj, Govardhan that Rati Krita of Shishi Radha Govind uh, is eternally present that is that uh, that is Govardhan is more uh, uh, topmost than Vrindavan that is written there in Bhagavatam and uh, millions of Gangas also that topmost place is Shamkund and Radha Kund that this Radha Kund and Shamkund we just need to take it on our head uh, that Giriraj Maharaj that Har Har Mahadev Mahadev ji also is just getting it will be more worshipful than uh, uh, Mahadev because they this uh, Kund has more glorification than everything that is Radha Kund and Sham Kund and Giriraj Maharaj has just taken it on his head Giriraj Maharaj has just uh, taken him on, taken Radha Kund Sham Kund on his head and what Shankar Bhagwan is there who has actually so much of fame transcendental fame he has that is Mahadev it is more worshipful than Mahadev and this place only and this particular place Radha Kund where uh, all kinds of Gopidhar actually all those Vandaniya Gopikans that is the only this is the only place where all the kind of Vandaniya Gopikans hundreds and hundreds of Gopikas that hundreds and hundreds of Lakshmis that kind of Vandaniya Sakigan that Sakis are actually just serving Radharani and Thak and Krishna with full Rasamai Madhuras here and uh, different kind of uh, Radha Govind Leela is going on here in Radha Kund that it is more that Radha Kund and Sham Kund is that more more and more valuable than millions of Gangas and Giraj Maharaj has just taken it on head Govardhan Maharaj has taken uh, them on the head both Radha Kund and Sham Kund that it is more worshipful than Mahadev here actually at this place only hundred of Lakshmis are actually those Gopikans that uh, Gopikans in they are actually kind of Krishna Rasmai Vigra is just all the time there inside their heart and they just want to get the embrace of that both Radha Govind who are embracing the, themselves in the Mathurmas Madurmas they have just in Leela here. So that's why that uh, more topmost than uh, the what that Govardhan that that third that second Ras Thali is there in Govardhan that Basant Ras there is another second uh, uh, Ras Thali that Giriraj Maharaj in Vrindavan from Vrindavan that is more topmost than Vrindavan Govardhan Ji Maharaj Giriraj Maharaj and uh, Giriraj Maharaj at the corner of Giriraj Maharaj and at the corner of Giriraj Maharaj that Radha Kund is there that uh, kind of place that is the topmost place of uh, Krishna Prem there is a flood of Krishna Prem there there is actually no stopping there at all that's why it is uh, topmost and Shri Mati and Shri Gaur Sundar and Shila 
and Shri Gaur Sundar's his heart in order to understand the heart of Gaur Sundar that Rupa Goswami Bhad those who have just understood the actual heart condition of Gaurang Mahaprabhu that that Srila Rupa Goswami Bhad that Rupa Manjari Srila Rupa Manjari She knows the actual condition of the Gorang Mahaprabhu that that is the actual Parakashta of the Radha Govinda Seva and also has given the instruction also in front of us that what kind of serious in-depth bhava of Gorang Mahaprabhu that Sri Laru Goswami Bhad who has understood that the in-depth bhav the Prem Rasa of uh, Gorang Mahaprabhu that topmost that Radha Kunda Seva that is the topmost seva that she he she is the actually topmost parakashta of that seva that radha kund where i have already told you yesterday that uh, That Radha Kund, by that Radha Kund, that glorification of Radha Kund is so much uh, topmost. The glorification of that Radha Kund, that is so infinity, that uh, those who are actually just taking a bath in that Radha Kund, those who are taking a bath in Radha Kund, that those people who are just taking a bath in Sri Radha Kund, his heart, that definitely he will get Krishna Prem inside that heart. That Avirbhav of Krishna Prem will definitely be there inside his heart. That that Prem Kalpatru Braja Bhumi. In out of that uh, all the Priyagans, that is the topmost Priyagans. That those who are just doing uh, uh, bath in getting uh, getting bath in Radha Kund. Radharani actually is just giving that kind of Krishna Prem, that Kalpatru inside their heart, that Avirbhava of Krishna Prem just get inside their heart. Those persons who uh, are just taking bath in uh, Sri Radha Kund, they are, that kind of Krishna Prem is actually getting Avirbhava inside their heart. And those who are that, play, that plain Kalpatru uh, tree, that Murari Krishna, it is just giving, giving out that uh, Krishna Prem fruit. Definitely he will get that just by taking bath in Radha Kund. This Radha Kund and Sham Kund, Raghunath Goswami was speaking that I should be staying here at this Radha Kund all the time. Prabhupada actually speaking as just the tenth number shloka of Rupa Goswami Pad actually just speaking of that. Yesterday I have already told about this shloka a bit of that and this is that that tenth number shloka of Rupa Goswami Pad. Here it is written. means that all those sinful persons or those satkarmi people all actually they are it means that those who are those who are karmi those who are karmi those who are all the time busy those who are satoguni those who are satoguni karmigan it means that in the anutraya orjit condition that those who are satoguni people 
दैट हु आर एक्चुअली डूइंग कर्म अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ सत्यगुण गोइंग द कर्म अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ सत्यगुण एंड दे आर एक्चुअली जस्ट गेटिंग आउट ऑफ दैट त्रिगुणिक दैट नॉलेजेबल पर्सन दे आर दे आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग दैट ट्रांसीडेंटल रस दोज काइंड ऑफ नॉलेजेबल ज्ञानीज दोज हु आर एक्चुअली दैट डिवोटी देर प्योर डिवोटी ऑफ भगवान और मे बी दोज हु आर प्राकृत सत्य हु आर फॉलोइंग दैट एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ दे आर एक्चुअली मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट दैन दोज नॉलेजेबल पर्सन एंड बाय दोज प्योर डिवोटीज इट इज मोर टॉप मोस्ट दोज हु आर गेटिंग दैट टॉप मोस्ट प्रेम ऑफ भगवान and those pure devotees uh, the more top most than them are those who are actually just uh, silently doing having that krishna prem inside their heart that kind of krishna came uh, krishna prem that person they in that that gopikans all to, are the top most and in all the gopikas that shrimati radha rani is the top most of all the gopikas having that uh, top most mahabhav and krishna prem inside her heart that uh, apart from that nobody can just uh, compare that uh, mahabhav of radha rani with anyman uh, here in the shastras also it is written that uh, shrimati radha rani that kund that shri radha kund is not different from radha rani and is the top most worshipable for krishna uh, that radha kund those kind of sukriti man who are not there that who don't want to take the shelter of radha kund is is there any one uh, somewhere in this material world that jiva who can't uh, just want to take the shelter of radha kund that ragunath was going to actually speaking in front of us Prabhupada actually speaking that all those sinful people those who are sinful doing sinful activities they are actually asat karmi those who are sinful or those who are doing asat karmi it is better that those who are actually doing sat karma they are more better than them i am not at all speaking that roop Ru- goswami was speaking that you should do sat karma it is not like that we just need to do seva sat and asat karma we don't have any time those all those sin- sinful persons who are doing sinful activities from them those who are doing asat karmi those who are doing sat karma they are actually the good who are doing good deeds those karmis are more good than them it means that those who are sin they are actually asat karmi for better than them are those who are doing all good deeds and those who are doing sat karm with good qualities and characters he is more good than them those asat karm asat karmis and more uh, good than those uh, uh, good deeds persons those uh, those who are actually having that uh, knowledge of brahma they are more better than them those who are doing good deeds and good karm and those who are getting good deeds or they are performing good karm it is more far better than them are the persons who are having that knowledge of that absolute uh, absolute means knowledge of that brahma those are getting the knowledge of that brahm that brahm gyan is more better those persons are more better and rup goswami was again writing forward like this guru goswami was has written so those people those who are sinful and those who are asat karmi it is more better than those who are doing good deeds and the punyavan people they are more better than them and apart from those all good good uh, good deeds persons more important them than them are those who are actually out of the three modes of material nature those persons having the knowledge of brahm they are more important than them those who have just got that knowledge of absolute brahm and uh, the and a more topmost than those persons are those who are actually getting out of the gyan 
concept of gyan sanak adi rishi are actually more top most than them and those who are actually just worshiping shri krishna in as an absolute truth and apart from them also more top most than them are those who are actually getting the premi bhakta those who are pure devotees of guru vaishnava bhagwan they are actually more top most who have that krishna prem inside their heart narad naradadi narad etc are more pure devotees they are more top most and they are more actually uh, dearer and nearer to krishna and uh, the top most braj sundari gopikas they are actually more and more dearer than narad to them and inside all the gopis if we will just be just getting the separate out of that we will just categorize that shri radha rani is the top most of all the gopikas that is the top most of all the gopikas the most dear and nearer of krishna and apart from shri radha rani that radha kund is also important that what radha rani is there the radha kund is not different from radha rani like radha radha rani that radha kund is not different from radha rani and it is more near and dear to krishna and uh, that is the what is the actual uh, topmost uh, those people who are the topmost uh, luckiest person that who has got that uh, aprakrit uh, they have got the with full aprakrit uh, chit vritti that heart with that they are actually just living in radha kund all the time and they are just getting the bhajan of that ashtakala leela all the time they are just actually living in radha kund eternally with transcendental mood that is the topmost that the what is the actually the aprakrit chit vritti he the person is just living there in at the bank of radha kund that is very much important and uh, that bhagwan krishna's bhajan that is the actual at that time only it is possible to do otherwise not possible this actually this is the topmost place of golok dham and it is the actual place of madhur ras those madhur rasik bhakt actually are just residing at shri golok dham in here in shri radha kund and this is the actually topmost place of shri golok dham this is radha kund and is the topmost place of shri madhur ras devotees that is only the actual shelter of uh, shri pure devotees at radha kund and all the and having that some kind of desire you have that in this whole material world in bhur bhuva sanswa all kind of material these three lokas they are actually they having that all those household devotees they are actually just enjoying their having they just enjoying their household life there here in these three lokas and apart from that if you go up maho lag maho jag tapas ho to all these kind of four looks they are actually these are actually all those household devotees can just uh, get their uh, part of enjoyment there definitely they will get that enjoyment in this uh, uh, lokas which is above that bhurbhuvasar ka upar what is above bhurbhuvaswa these kind of four loks and those who are actually just who haven't got into the household life and they have got that uh, tyagi sanyasi wish still he is getting greha meda then it is uh, totally destroyed so those persons who are actually just getting out of the three modes of material nature they are actually just getting this uh, mahojana tapalok satalok these four loks actually and uh, these actually not for this is actually the place of enjoying for the household uh, persons and those nastik brahmacharis they are those who have just given uh, all the time they are actually nastik brahmachari for their whole life they are going to jana lok and vanprasthi uh, people they go into tap lok and sanyasi people they go to satya lok that vaikunth uh, dham topmo sandranand that is more rarer than the mukt people persons also those who are actually devotees of bhagwan uh, while just remembering bhagwan they are leaving their body they directly just go to vaikunth dham at the same time immediately they just get uh, uh, go to that vaikunth what they at the time of that they are thinking by that vaikunth in this vaikunth that is uh, mathura is more uh, topmost than vaikunth and what saleras leela in vrindavan and with vrindavan uh, govardhan is topmost and with the front in with the govardhan more topmost is shri radha kund shila sanatan go swami pad has just uh, shila sanatan go swami pad 
दैट काइंड ऑफ थ्री पाद विभूति जस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू रिजेक्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ विचार शीला सनातन गोस्वामी पाद जस्ट रिजेक्टिंग द विचार ऑफ थ्री पाद विभूति दिस काइंड ऑफ दैट काइंड ऑफ विचार ही इज रिजेक्टिंग इट शीला सनातन गोस्वामी प्रभु एक्चुअली जस्ट रिजेक्टिंग द थ्री पाद विभूति विचार दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट सो दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट साइंटिफिक रीजन वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर दैट That is the after that Karan Sagar is coming. After that Karan Sagar, that Nirvishesh Brahma effulgence is just coming. That Karan Sagar, that Karan Ocean, that whatever that Dhruv Star is there in everything. That after Karan Sagar, that Nirvishesh uh, impersonal Brahma effulgence is there after that. And when you will just penetrate that, then you will get the Panchu Pasak, that five Pasaks of. Uh, those who are actually panchu pasak those who are following the rituals of panchu pasak they are panchu pasak these panchu this that uh, they are doing the worship of sun and ganesh and durga and shiva and what kind of they are worshiping different different demigods this everything it is nothing will stay there at that at that place that uh, that brahm that uh, that kind of uh, artificial swarup everything will become oneness that is called nirvisheshvadi that this kind of vichar they have that nirvisheshvadi that everything will become one with uh, the brahm sanatan ko swami pad prabhu that three pad vibhuti that kind of vichar that is the top most scientific uh, uh, reason what we can find that those who are just going into the logical interpretations that bhagwan is always time there in the karan ocean bhagwan is there all the time present there and after that karan ocean that nirvishesh lok that impersonal brahma effulgence is there and those who are panchupasa who are panchupasa actually those who are worshiping sun god ganesh lord ganesh and shakti and shiva they are actually worshiping them they are just worshiping these five demigods in this vishnu is also included that worshiping sun shakti devata everything all they it will nothing will stay there that with demigods whatever we can get but nothing will stay at all it is temporary so that kind of artificial swarup of bhagwan is actually of so brahm is everything will become one neither nirvisheshvadi actually is having this kind of vichar nirvishas nirvisheshvadi have this kind of vichar that everything is one with brahm this kind of vichar they have that this pancho pasak this kind of artificial worship of sun god shankar puja shakti puja whatever they are doing nothing will stay at all this is not at all nitya whatever what they are doing this is not at all permanent that kind of kalpanik swarup of brahm if you just want to make then definitely that kind of artificial swarup which you want to make of uh, that uh, brahm that nirvisheshvadi actually speaking this kind of vichar that everything will become one with brahm but in hai shish panchratri it is written महाप्रभु महाप्रभु ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ सार्वम भट्टाचार्य सार्वम भट्टाचार्य एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग ऑन निर्विशेष ब्रह्म एंड महाप्रभु एक्चुअली जस्ट गिवन आफ्टर दैट सम प्रूफ रिगार्डिंग द निर्विशेष ब्रह्म महाप्रभु एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रूफ इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैट इन श्रुति वेयर वेयर एक्चुअली देयर इज नो आईज ऑफ भगवान नो इयर्स आर देयर एंड नथिंग इज देयर वेयर देयर इन द श्रुति इट इज रिटर्न दैट काइंड ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट दैट भगवान ही इज जस्ट एक्चुअली आइडेंटिफाइंग भगवान एज निर्विशेष इट हैज नथिंग एंड एट द लास्ट दैट द काइंड ऑफ तत्व इज जस्ट गेटिंग डिस्कवर्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस it getting manifested in front and nirvishesh and savishesh bhagwan this is the only two categories of bhagwan that bhagwan nirvishesh roop is also eternal uh, it is there eternally present and savishesh swarup bhagwan's whole self manifested sachidanand vigra is also uh, man, uh, is uh, transcendental eternal these are all eternal eternally present all kind of eternal activities and characteristics of bhagwan all these two characters qualities of bhagwan are actually uh, permanent transcendental and uh, by this kind of uh, thinking that this kind of guna both of them 
that sabhi shesh tatv already get manifested in front of us it means that in the vedas where it is written about the nirvisheshvad they actually want to manifest nirvisheshvad in the vedas where in the shrutis also they just want to manifest that nirvisheshvad that about the param brahma that nirvishesh swarup of bhagwan is actually just getting manifested in front of us that is actually actually sabhishesh swarup firstly it is just spoken that it is actually nirvishesh but after that at the last it is shown that it is sabhishesh that it has some form it is not at all formless that this kind of sabhishesh it is it has form that is the actual vichar if we are actually getting that vichar then definitely we will see that bhagwan is actually sabhishesh is more prominent maybe sabhishesh and nirvishesh both are actually uh, eternal uh, swarup of bhagwan but when you having that actual vichar that nirvishesh and sabhishesh this kind of things are also uh, sabhishesh is it nirvishesh is giving the example of sabhishesh so whatever they are actually tatvastu is there written in the shruti in the beginning they are actually speaking that it is nirvishesh they are actually speaking that that uh, tattvastu is nirvishesh and that same shruti actually in the last you can just see that vichar that they are actually in the gist in the conclusive uh, result they are actually speaking that it is actually not nirvishesh it is sabhishesh this nirvishesh and sabhishesh both are actually eternally present they are transcendental on transcendental platform of bhagwan this kind of vichar when you are be having that this sabhishesh by having this scope both kind of vichar that sabhishesh vichar will be more prominent of bhagwan as compared to nirvishesh that will be the predominating factor for that that sabhishesh is the predominating factor not the nirvishesh so that's why mahaprabhu actually speaking to sarbham bhattacharya actually you see sarbham that nirvishesh persons who are that by speaking nirvishesh what we are actually do shruti gan we are actually speaking we sometimes the shruti gan they are speaking that bhagwan is nirvishesh it is having no form at all it is formless that bhagwan we are actually in the vedas each and every place that uh, bhagwan's nirvishesh vad is actually just getting uh, manifested there here here the meaning of that is that that prakrit that prakrit uh, prakrit means material and uh, transcendental that uh, bhagwan don't have that material body it is not having prakrit body bhagwan has that transcendental body bhagwan don't have that kind of need no kind of material body mind and everything bhagwan has the transcendental features transcendental body and eyes and ears just by living all kind of material thinking and just having that transcendental mood that kind of things it is written there but those all mayavadi people they are actually just taking those kind of local shlokas and just uh, manifesting that in front of all the local people these kind of shlokas they are discussing that nirvishesh in order to just get that actual vyakhya they are actually just getting that conclusion out of that but prabhupada actually speaking that uh, by having this material body this kind of vichar actually coming you are just getting out of that that kind of material and transcendental vishay you will be just uh, categorizing that and you will be getting out of that materialistic uh, mind that whatever kind of swarup and everything shape and design it is actually all is chinmay of bhagwan it is not at all material when you will be getting out of that conception when this kind of conception of about bhagwan that uh, bhagwan is in, having no material body this kind of conception is not coming in him then definitely he will be able to understand that uh, his heart that uh, bhagwan is having that transcendental uh, mind and body somebody actually speaking that uh, if that jad sabhishes material thing is not then uh, definitely transcendental uh, feature will not be possible for bhagwan if he is having that he don't have any material uh, things that this kind of vichar this is of mayavadi this this the kind of vichar they have that karan ocean from that you understand that that after that karan ocean where bhagwan is uh, living that okay this uh, material body actually you are actually stopping then definitely bhagwan don't have any surup no no chinmay also they don't have any surup bhagwan this kind of vichar mayavadi have So when you have that kind of vichar of material darshan that material body they don't have then definitely that uh, definitely you have to ignore this point also that he don't have a, that transcendental body also when bhagwan don't have material body definitely bhagwan also don't be having that transcendental body only this is the actual vichar of mayavadi 
बट दे डोंट नो एक्चुअली दैट भगवान दैट डोंट हैव दैट मटीरियल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड क्वालिटीज बट डेफिनेटली भगवान हैज दैट ट्रांसीडेंटल क्वालिटीज एंड बॉडी by just taking this vichar slowly steadily when he will be just getting the that he is not nirvishesh that definitely bhagwan be having that savishesh swarup that chinmayata that transcendental feature of bhagwan it is all transcendental on a transcendental platform that bhagwan's qualities and body are all transcendental they are not at material nature material uh, platform and uh, after just crossing that karan ocean after that kar karan ocean crossing that uh, that nirvishesh impersonal brahm uh, effulgen is there and after just penetrating the nirvishesh um, effulgen then then you will get into that sada shiv dham that sada shiv that you will go up to that sada shiv dham that is also comes in the vaikunth dham only and that impersonal brahm when you will be just penetrating more inside that after that you will be finding that sada shiv dham bhagwan is sitting in the form of sada shiv you will just find the sada shiv dham there and after that that is also it is inside vaikunth uh, jagat only and after that penetrating more further you will be getting uh, that uh, which is uh, achit which is not at all chit this rajasatam tama gun these are actually or achit gun after just penetrating and destroying all those gunas you are just crossing a virja river after getting the divatma has to cross the virja river whatever actually there actually there in the atma dirty thing you just need to clean that in the virja and after that you will be going to that brahmifulgens and after after getting penetration into that brahmifulgens that sadashiv log is there and after you will be penetrating in sadashiv log you will be going to डैट वैकुंठ जगत ऑल्सो एंड आफ्टर दैट वैकुंठ जगत इज श्याम सुंदर जगत वे आर एक्चुअली भगवान इज देयर इन गोलोक धाम आफ्टर दैट दैट वैकुंठ विचार इज गेटिंग इन साइड अवर माइंड that in vaikunth also this kind of by having maryada vichar by full, full rules and regulations strict two ras there is actually two ras is present and there is two ras incomplete there in vaikunth but there is also half ras also in that sakhya ras is also there that with vishwambar but vishwambar sakhya is not at all there in vaikunth we are actually there in maryada vichar that vaikunth is there They're having opulence is vichar opulent vichar that ashwarya vichar that because of that there are actually two and a half kind of ras we can find there two and a half ras we can find in vaikunth that infinity bhagwan parmatma that that infinity powerful bhagwan this kind of ishwar swarup bhagwan is manifesting by him only that chid and achid both are actually uh, under his shelter that ramanujare has just shown us this point that chid and achid chid and achid actually all the all comes under the shelter of bhagwan only that actually is the vichar of ramanujacharya prabhupad actually speaking that those who are actually avashnav those who are actually avashnav that for those avashnav they have this kind of vichar that everything is there on this material world is all for our enjoying that they are actually thinking then in all four direction this kind of enjoying mood is there but vaishnav don't have this kind of vichar that prithvi this earth is not at all a vishay of uh, enjoying mood and detachment it is not at all done by any vaishnav by vaishnav having the different kind of conception vaishnav vichar by vaishnav vichar if you will be thinking of this earth that kind of yukta vairagya prasang is just coming there when you are actually having this kind of enjoying mood and detached from this material world this kind of all vishaya abhimani people lot of ego on this enjoying mood they are having this false doer they are thinking themselves they actually don't have any kind of place present in vaikunth dham at all because they are material and in golok vrindavan where they are 
Sahastal crores of uh, Lakshmis are actually just uh, uh, resting at the lotus feet of Radharani. In Brahm Samhita it is written. Prabhupada actually speaking that Maryada Mai Puja that uh, following with full rules and regulation you are doing Seva and Vishwamba Seva that kind of free Seva value you are doing there is actually difference in between that it looks like same but it is actually not same it is opposite it is have some difference in that It looks like that it is same, but it is not at all same. It is some difference is there. When our body is just getting at that utkant, uh, when we'll be just leaving our body, that utkant dasha, when uh, our, uh, when we'll be whatever by our mother and father, this kind of body we are actually getting, that in utkrant dasha, when after the death, when we are actually leaving this body, after that, whatever this body of five elements given by our mother and father, it will definitely get, uh, uh, we have to leave that. And after that, before we will, if our situation is good, then after that we will get that Swarup Siddhi. And when we'll be going into that Nitya Jagat, then that kind of uh, a Prakrit Seva will definitely get. We will get Swarup Siddhi first. And when we'll be getting into that uh, Siddh Swarup, that what kind of body we have when we'll be leaving that and we will be when we'll be getting into that utkrasht situation then definitely after that we will be able to get the aprakrit seva of bhagwan that parmeshwar is independent that purushottam who is all independent we will get the seva of bhagwan that kind of independent will of bhagwan we just need to accept that and inside that person what that kind of riti hasn't got uh, getting uh, that kind of seva pravirti towards bhagwan it is not at all active actually activated up till this point that this kind of uh, subtle and fine body that is actually there uh, entrapped in this uh, subtle and fine body that he is actually in this bonded condition otherwise that this kind of subtle and uh, fine body after just getting out of that he will be taking that aprakrit sahaj dharma of vakunt dham that he will be taking he will be having that serving attitude all the time this kind of sahajya giri that Prabhupada is speaking he is actually sahajya that uh, he are actually by having that in bonded condition by this subtle and uh, fine body in this having getting uh, trapped in that and he is thinking that this material body and he is not at all differentiating between the transcendental body and the material body and whatever that kind of aprakrit jagab sahaj dharm that he he just actually just making a drama of accepting all the things of the transcendental world that is all kind of one drama in front of us this is nothing but just a drama. These are Sahajya. That in Vakunt Jagat, this kind of a Prakrit Seva, there is actually some restriction in Vakunt. In Vakunt Jagat, maybe Vakunt is actually the complete Jagat. Nothing is unimplied. Vakunt is just an open term. Vakunt means there is no Kuntha, where there is no barrier at all. But as a whole, if we can see that Golok is Golok Vakunt, we are also speaking sometimes this word. That Vakunt word, it means that there is actually no barrier at all, no Kuntha is there. So Golok Vakunt also when we are speaking, that uh, this uh, whatever Narayan etc. living in their Vakunt, uh, it is uh, spoken like this. That Vakunt Lok, when we are speaking, where Bhagwan is actually sitting, all kind of Aswari Swarup, Vishnu, Narayan etc. are there, that is Vakunt. And when in the upper portion of Vaikunt you will go, that near Singadev, and more above if you will go, then Sri Ramchandraji Maharajat Avadpuri is there. And after that, when penetrating more above, you will get that Golokdham. And inside Golokdham, at the center point, that Vrindavan is there. At the center point, Vrindavan is uh, in between that center point, that core point, that there Vrindavan is there in Golokdham. And uh, outside there is Dwarka. And inside there is Mathura and after that Vrindavan. So Vakunt is a complete, uh, a complete place. There is no barrier. It is not incomplete. But just by having that kind of rush which are in that. But Vakunt, whatever is not there in Vakunt, that definitely is there in Golokdham we can get. 
Vaikunth, there is actually restriction of seva. There is actually some restriction of seva in Vaikunth. Like you just need to do like this, don't need to do like that. Like prohibition is there. But in Vrindavan Dham, there is no kind of prohibition and restriction. There is actually no kind of strict rules and regulation. Restriction is not at all there. All the time, each and every body of Vrindavan, all the body that by all the organs by all our sense organs we are actually satisfying krishna by doing krishna seva all the time in vrindavan those who are muni rishis that just by worshiping krishna and getting that avishta siddhi they are actually just sitting there but still they do, didn't get that avishta siddhi those who muni rishis those who are actually just getting the darshan of gopal and this kind of avishta siddhi they actually want to get that efforts to do uh, complete that but they didn't got that siddhi why because these people what they done that they are actually by just take, seeing the beautiful swarup of uh, ramchandra they are actually just doing sadhan it means that the top most beautiful characteristics of getting that ramchandra they actually having that kamini bhav that uh, that definitely i want to embrace ramchandra ji in madhur ras they actually try to do that but ramchandra ji shri ramchandra ji has just ignored them and just speaking to them that you see that in this situation it is not at all possible and to now actually i am actually maryada purushottam apart from sita devi no one no one is there in my life so and in the next avatar what is it's coming when i will be coming in the dwapar yug as shri krishna that bahujan vallabh gopijan vallabh i will be coming bahujan vallabh i will be coming at that time you can just get that uh, this kind of wish and desire i will definitely be completing that today actually i am just following that maya uh, maryada purushottam and in this ras i will be just having sita devi as my top most shakti and this kind of madhur ras what you are having this in order to just realize this kind of desire of her definitely it is not possible in this avatar for me so definitely i will be just completing this kind of desire those munis who are having this kind of desire towards in dandakaranya those munis in dandakaranya having this kind of uh, labd bhav that kind of madhur bhav they are having they do because of they are not getting at avishta siddhi by the ashirvad of uh, by the um, uh, ashirvad of uh, ramchandra ji definitely they are taking birth as gopikas in the uh, braj dham it is there it written in the padma puran because their desires was not fulfilled in that uh, treta yug definitely by the ashirvad by getting the full uh, kripa of bhagwan shri ramchandra they are actually taking the uh, uh, birth in the uh, gopikas they taking birth in braj dham as gopikas and it is written in padma puran there in order that they sh- desire should get fulfilled where bhagwan has just fulfilled all the desire of all the gopikas for in these people all those muni rishis these in muni rishis in these muni rishis sometimes some is there that that kind of ras in this rishi muni is also some rishi muni is are there that that at the introduction of ras leela that kind of uh, chinta yog that just by uh, focusing on the ras leela they are getting that siddhi it is already written in padma purana about this it is written in brihad bahman purana not in padma purana sorry in brihad bahman purana it is written sometimes it is written those who have got at the introduction of ras leela they have just got the siddhi it is already written in brihad bahman purana it is written there in mahu upanishad all those upanishads that maha upanishads also these also they are getting the swarup of gopikas they have just came in the assembly of ras leela we are definitely i'll be discussing it tomorrow that how gopikas inside their heart that upanishad whatever has told that all the gopikas definitely we will also be doing like this that you just do kripana so that we can also do that that whatever the gopikas the bhav of gopikas that the serving attitude of gopikas towards krishna for the satisfaction of krishna definitely we also want to get that and at the same bhav at the lotus feet of your we just want to serve your lotus feet like with the same bhav what gopikas having and like this in the upanishad gan also they also want to take the bhav of that gopikas they also have just to get the form of the gopis and 
they just want to follow the bhav of gopikas just by seeing the actual uh, luck of the gopikas they have just get that utkanta for krishna seva and just by speaking in front of krishna they are actually by this only by this bhav only definitely i'll be with the same bhav what gopikas having they or oh, they also won't have that utkanta that desire to do the bhajan of krishna and they, that's why they have just taken birth in uh, braj dham as gopikas to serve krishna shant prem okay it is okay it is in shantaras dasya prem shant prem sakya prem this kind of prem okay by tathast vichar that madhur prem madhur ras is more prominent more topmost because in madhur ras and uh, whatever ras is there in madhur ras in madhur prem whatever kind of rasa is there uh, in front when you will be go up front and shant prem dasya ras shant ras sakya ras madhur uh, everything is there in madhur ras that whatever the qualities of the sky whatever the qualities of sky are there after that next is there next is what this uh, this is shabd sparsh roop rasgand by taste touch uh, feel the the actual good uh, quality of uh, sky is uh, uh, word and whatever actually is there already it is there everything in that the second what is there after that it is already there in the sky and the third quality is also there is if the first thing is there definitely second thing will also be there and the third and fourth qualities definitely will be there inside that and like this everything is there every quality is there all kind of five elements there's five kind of material elements are already there that in this five kind of material elements in this five elements is one and one each and every quality it is definitely available in the second uh, element of that five element definitely it is there khiti apotej marudbam khiti means that sky in the sky the actual characteristic of sky is word shabd ठीक है अब अब वो हैव मे हैविंग टू क्वालिटीज एंड लाइक दिस इन मधुर रस इफ वी आर जस्ट बी डूइंग दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार देन शांत रस दास रस दास रस इन दास रस डेफिनेटली दास रस विल बी देयर एंड शांत रस विल डेफिनेटली नेचुरली विल बी प्रेजेंट देयर एंड सख्य रस दे सख्य रस इज देयर डेफिनेटली बट विद सख्य रस शांत रस एंड दास रस ऑटोमेटिकली नेचुरली विल बी देयर लाइक दिस like this according to our own vichar prabhupad ji actually speaking that about the shastras it is written there that according to our own vichar that who are actually getting that particular ras in chaitanya ji tamri it is written that according to their own uh, adhikar what kind of uh, special ras they are actually tasting those in a particular ras they are actually finding that they are actually sevak of that particular ras that will be the topmost idealism for, of that ras for them those who are actually getting that adhikar for that topmost particular ras definitely he will be desi- uh, that topmost idealism for that particular ras but when you are getting onto the neutral platform madhuras is the topmost those who are actually getting into that particular ras they want to serve in a particular ras those who have already just get into deep into that particular ras and they apart from that ras they cannot go after that that is the actual topmost idealism for that particular ras that is the topmost parakashta for that particular ras for that particular jiva but when you will be getting on that plat- neutral platform then definitely you will be having this kind of uh, vichar that maduras is the topmost because in maduras every kind of rasa is there that's why shant prem prabhupa speaking shant prem dasya prem sakya prem in that that is topmost is maduras and uh, and in maduras there is categorically some uh, division are there dwarka in mahishigans this kind of ma- and gopikas prem is different from the dwarka mahishis that is the topmost gopikas is the prem is the topmost just chamatkar and in the gopikas also that uh, the topmost uh, shrimati radharani has the topmost mahabhav and shrimati radharani that she is the actually topmost of all the that ashtasaki is having lalita vishaka and these kind of ashtasakis are the prominent in radharani radharani ka kaya 
एंड देन काय व्यू ऑफ राधा रन इज ऑल्सो देयर दैट विद लॉट ऑफ विद इमेंस लक दैट श्रीमती राधा रानी दैट काइंड ऑफ ऑल दोज ललिता विशाखाज एंड अष्ट सखीज आर देयर वी कैन जस्ट गेट दिस इज नॉट अ नॉर्मल थिंग टू गेट लाइक दिस सो दैट्स वाई इन श्री राम श्री टू डू द परिक्रमा ऑफ राधा कुंड प्रभुपाद स्पीकिंग दैट श्री टू डू द परिक्रमा ऑफ राधा कुंड दोज हु आर डूइंग एक्चुअली डिजायरिंग टू डू द परिक्रमा ऑफ राधा कुंड दैट डेफिनेटली एट द एट द एट द एट द कॉर्नर ऑफ ललिता कुंड दोज हु हैव द डिजायर टू जस्ट definitely at the time of ब्रज मंडल परिक्रमा definitely we will be staying there at the night time at ललिता कुंड एंड विल बी जस्ट स्टेइंग देयर एट नाइट टाइम प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट समाइम्स दिस काइंड ऑफ विच आर सम वन हैविंग दैट योगेश्वरी दैट चंद्रावली इज टॉप मोस्ट सम वन एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग बट चंद्रावली हाउ शी कैन गेट द टॉप मोस्ट बा बिकॉज दैट महाभाव स्वरूपनी श्रीमती राधिका महाभाव स्वरूपनी श्रीमती राधिका दैट इज देयर महाभाव इज देयर ऑल द टाइम देन मोर देन मा देन दैट टॉप को टॉप मोस्ट प्रेम विखार इज देयर इन साइड हर दैट श्री महाभाव स्वरूपनी श्रीमती राधिका रानी दैट टू गेट द मेड्स गेट द टू बी द बेड सर्वेंट ऑफ दैट राधा रानी दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट थिंग बट चंद्रावली इज एन ओपोनेंट पार्टी but there is actually a very surprising and amazing competition going on in krishna seva you see the competition that radha rani is also there that opposite party opponent party of radha rani is also there that who actually want to serve bhagwan shri krishna in opponent mood with a but with a just want to loot uh, the looting mood but sometimes they will be getting that they will be thinking that chandravali is more prominent but mahabhav swarupani that shrimati radhika ji that what kind of more than more than that kind of topmost bhav is there inside her heart this mahabhav swarupani shrimati radhika ji that i want to become the maid servant of her that is the topmost uh, that is the topmost uh, uh, desire uh, apart from this no desire is there in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran if some material person if he is getting that shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran in his hand if maj if shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran about this if in the gaudiya samaj this kind of achar is there bharat bhagwan bhujasthane astham vrindavan ramma kachidu basana bhujavadi varge na ja kalpita shrimad bhagavatam praman mamalam prema pumartho mahano sri chaitanya mahapur matam idam tatta darana this kind of vichar actually is there in our gaudiya mat if in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran is there that is the topmost amal puran that is the topmost amal puran that is the topmost uh, uh, proof there practical proof that amal puran shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran is there mahaprabhu has just accepted that that this mahat bhagwat ji mahapuran if that some uh, bonded jeeva material bonded jeeva is getting this kind of mahapuran inside in his hand whether then definitely he will be giving that opposite kind of uh, vyakhya Op- if the mahagaj ji mahapur will go into the hands of that material jeevas material jeevas definitely that uh, uh, negative uh, vyakhya will be given by that person if that bhagwat ji mahapur and that amal puran will be going in the hands of that material jeevas then definitely it will be very difficult because they will be speaking where actually is the name of radha rani in bhagavatam so where actually you will get radha rani at all where actually that the center point of bhagwat ji mahapuraj is radha rani only that all actually maha bhagwat ji mahapuran that ultimate target is only to get the lotus feet of radha rani the uh, all the actually the actual main center point of bhagwat ji mahapuran what is the actual moral of that that is to get the all to get the topmost attraction of the lotus feet of radha rani just to show that that is the actual result of reading rishi mad bhagavatam that what i have already bhagwan told in shin bhagavad gita that if if you are just getting reading all the vedas and you are not thinking that where who is krishna you are not getting krishna as bhagwan then what is the use of just uh, reading all those kind of vedas it is he is not getting any idea and he is getting some other kind of idea so bhagwan actually swayam actually speaking in gita that
i am the actually the source of all the vedas if i if i am not get all getting krishna then what is the use of reading vedas so that's why in shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran externally we can see that uh, shrimati radharani name is not at all there in bhagavatam but still that there is actually some indication given there this actually already indication is given there may but it means that by whom by whom bhagwan shri krishna that uh, he is getting all the kind of uh, desires krishna is actually getting fulfilled by that shrimati radharani is the topmost the, the who is the actual center point of all the of krishna that who just by the seva who actually by serving krishna in the topmost mood that shrimati radharani who who is actually serving krishna in the topmost mood and she is becoming the topmost sevik of krishna even krishna is also worshiping radharani the, those who have just, just done seva so much seva for krishna that krishna actually just to become uh, krishna swayam uh, worshiping radharani so bhagwat ji mahapran if some material person is getting in his hand then that is that is not at all good because he will be actually giving the negative uh, direction he'll be putting it in us and there is no name of radharani directly it written in that and gor sundar also that mahavadanya shri gor sundar and our gurudev in shila rup goswami prabhu prabhupad ji actually speaking this point that our gurudev our gurudev actually he is actually can also we can think that he, she is radharani because our radharani and gurudev are not different if we can think of that like that prabhupad someone actually question to prabhupad then actually if you are having that madhuras which are then definitely you can see is that your gurudev is radharani this which are is not at all false so that mahavadanya gor sundar and our gurudev shila rup goswami pad prabhupad ji has told lot of times about this point that uh, our guru rup shri shila rup goswami pad guru has just come in, come in the form of uh, my gurudev and is just giving me the instruction it is also written in the kirtan as well that shila rup goswami pad has just taken the form of uh, gurudev and is coming in front of and just instructing us like this mahavadanya gor sundar and my gurudev shila rup goswami prabhu that kind of material adhikar that kind of material adhikar that those who are actual adhikari those who are literally truly adhikari those who don't have any kind of kapat bhav inside them those people those jeevas this kind of adhikari in front of them they are actually not at all uh, hiding anything of their them they are actually revealing everything to them they everything reveal themselves they themselves reveal everything to them so this mahavadanya this mahavadanya gor sundar and our uh, gurudev shila rup goswami prabhu they are actually prakrita they are the actual adhikaris in front of the actual adhikaris they are actually revealing the uh, actual truth in front of them they are revealing everything and they are revealing their own swarup also in front of them and they are actually just revealing the actual uh, things of radharani in front of them all the kind of uh, serving attitude of radharani is they are revealing that and if it is going in the hands of sahajiya then it is very much uh, impossible to control the situation it will be very difficult next to impossible to control the situation this actually in lagu bhagavat amrit we can just uh, see this uh, shloka in lagu bhagavat amrit in lagu lagu bhagavat amrit shila rupa swami pad has written this this uh, actually point i am just uh, putting in front of you this shloka radha priya vishnu stasya kundam priyam tatha sarva gopishu shevoika vishnu attanta vallava radha simati radha rani simati radha rani like uh, her that is the topmost priya vastu for bhagwan and similarly har kund is also very dear to bhagwan and of all the gopikas radharani is topmost and uh, this vishnu word some someone can speak 
why actually Vishnu word is written here? Someone actually is speaking that why in order to just making make us uh, careful and cautious. Maybe Krishna Nam can also come. Bhavan Krishna name is already come in uh, Ras Lila. But there also in Ras Lila we can find that Vishnu word also. It is coming there in order to just make us cautious. Just in order to make us alert that Vishnu is a Sarva Vyapak Nam. By Krishna name everyone cannot understand. That's why why actually written Vishnu here actually is not he is not Vishnu still Vishnu is not there but by speaking Krishna as Vishnu there is no actually fault in that but just by speaking uh, if you are speaking Krishna as Vishnu then there is in inside Krishna Vishnu is there definitely there is no fault in that but just by speaking Vishnu if you are speaking that inside Vishnu Krishna is there then there can some kind of sweetness will be just lacking behind but even Krishna if you are speaking Vishnu then there is no fault in that and that's why this word Vishnu word is used here because it's so that even a normal person cannot think that Krishna is just a normal uh, normal human only he, he doesn't think like that because Krishna has that mother father but Vishnu don't have that okay Narayan they don't have his mother father oh, he is good okay but he is got the birth krishna has got birth so they this kind of logical interpretation they are making so that's why vishnu word it's a lot of uh, times we can just find that and i have already given one example of this raj lila also but this is actually is not vishnu it is actually krishna himself that in vyapak swarup it is there uh, present there that is why this vyapakat uh, in order to just understand that we are just using this uh, word So, the, by the Kripa of getting the Kripa of Radharani, Prabhupada speaking, that if we will get the Kripa of Srimati Radharani and anyhow, then definitely we will be just getting a place in Radha Kund. Definitely we will get us some place in Radha Kund. If by just getting the Kripa of Radharani, definitely we will get the Nitya Vas in Sri Radha Kund. This is the topmost place in the whole infinity universe. That's why Sri Larup Goswami Bad in Upadesh Amrit, that is the topmost Upadesh in that Rup Goswami Bad is just instructing us. But that is a Charam Upadesh, is a topmost Upadesh. That uh, topmost Upadesh which I have already told, that is very important. In that Charam Upadesh, it is already written that the actual Sar, actual Sar of the all uh, Upadesh, what is given. That Prabhupada also is speaking that in the last also there is one absolute Upadesh, what Srila Rupa Goswami has told. That Charam Upadesh, Prabhupada speak, uh, is writing this, that previously that uh, it is written, this shloka actually written, in that shloka it is already written, that uh, this is the actual Sar of all the Upadesh, it is the actual uh, uh, conclusion of all the Upadesh. This is the actual conclusion of all the Upadesh. Okay, actually there is no fault in that. But Sri Larup Goswami Pad has just by this shloka, that 11th shlok, by this shloka, Sri Larup Goswami Pad wants to instruct us. The not, not 11th, sorry, it's the, the 10th number shlok. This 10th number shlok is there. By that Sri Larup Goswami actually just giving the glorification of Radha Kund and the uh, taking bath in Radha Kund, this kind of uh, desire. That Radha Kund is the topmost place, and Sri Laguru Goswami Pad in Upadesh Amrit has given the topmost Upadesh just to take bath in Radha Kund. He has also just figured that out. That is in the Antim Upadesh, that is the 11th Shlok. In the 10th Shlok, that uh, there is a difference in the devotees that in Karmi and all those people who are going towards uh, knowledgeable Brahman. So, here actually, I will be de definitely discussing it tomorrow. Here actually, it is written. What it's written here? Krishna so chai pranata basati hi prayosi pyaopi radha kundam chasha manivi rovi rovitaha 
तत्वी एव बधाई यृष्ठरूपी अलम सुलभम किं पुनर्भक्ति भाजम तत्मेदम सकृत ओपिसर स्नातुम राविश करोति This means that it means that that Shrimati Radha Rani that is actually she is the topmost of all the shrest prem that premi ka topmost prema is there in Radha Rani for Krishna. Apart from that, there is nothing more topmost. And that kund of Shrimati Radha Rani that Radha kund also is not different from Radha Rani. And this Radha kund is very much dearer to Bhagwan Sri Krishna, topmost dearer. And all these muni rishis. it is already they have written it uh, already given this conclusion in the shastras it is already written by all these munikans they have just uh, indicated this in the shastras that you can see that all those munikans they have just indicated this place as the topmost that about radha kund they have just uh, given the indication in the shastras and uh, in the different different kind of other gopikas who are actually that haven't got on to that uh, topmost position and what to speak of that in order to just speak of what they can speak about that that dusra uh, that uh, those who are going uh, have getting to into the ras and having that different bhav you just uh, leave those bhav but those who are actually just taking uh, part in the ras those uh, even the krishna prest gan those who are very dearer to krishna also it this kind of radha kund just to take uh, bath in there and just to get krishna prem it is very very rare to get that krishna prem by that krishna prem we can just do the actual seva of krishna in actual mood without prem krishna seva is not at all possible in vidhi marg we krishna cannot be attained at all so that's why this prem is very much rare by this uh, only prema we can do the krishna bhajan only and this prema of krishna towards krishna that is already there just by taking one time bath in radha kund that person is just getting de- definitely that kind of krishna prem will get sprouted automatically inside his heart but this kind of which are i have already told about prabhupad and prabhupad don't need even his lot- lotus feet is not uh, touching it on the radha kund so that's why it is written Only just by taking one time bath in Radha Kund, by the under the Anugata Anugata of Rupa Nuga and Rupa Nuga Guru work, swam that Krishna Prem is just getting uh, uh, sprouted inside her heart. It's a very serious discussion. Definitely, we will be discussing it tomorrow about this point. And uh, to, up till today, we we just giving giving address because it is very uh, serious and in depth discussion. Sabai mana Krishna padar vindayur vachan se bai kunto gunan varnani. करु हरिर मंदिर मर्जुना दिशु श्रुतीं चकार च्युत सद कथो दये मुकुंद लिंगालय दर्शने दिशो तद्भीगापर्शे अंग संगम घ्राणंच तत्द सरोज सौरवे श्रीमत्तुलसारसनम तदर्ते पादो हर हे क्षेत्रो पदासर्पणे शिरोषी केशुपदाभिवंदने कामच दास्य न तो काम काम मया जथोत्तम श्लोक जनाश्रयारती वाचकल्पतुर्वशी के बासिंदु पतितान पावन भो विष्णुभ्यो नमो